Welcome back to Movie On. Today I'm going to explain the movie called Piranaconda from 2012. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care, and I hope you enjoy it. At the beginning of the movie, we saw Professor Lovegrove and two of his crew members in a helicopter. They were going towards the forest to find an egg for research. After they researched there, the professor told the pilot to stay there. When they moved forward, they found so many eggs near the lake. They were so happy to find these, and then the professor was packing the egg to take it with him for research. But then suddenly, a giant piranaconda attacked them. It killed two of his crew members, but somehow he ran away from there. This giant snake was a merged form of a piranha and an anaconda. When the pilot noticed the piranaconda, he tried to run away from there with the helicopter, but the piranaconda attacked the helicopter as well. Therefore, the helicopter crashed, and the pilot died. The professor became so worried after seeing this. In the next scene, we saw that there was a shooting of a movie going on in that forest. Milo was the director of this movie. The lead actress in this movie was Kimmy. Scriptwriter Rose was also there. Jack was in the role of a stuntman in this movie, and Jack likes Rose. Jack asked her for a drink. After that, Margaret approached Rose and asked her about the light meter. Rose told her that it was near the lake. When Margaret went there, she found the light meter, but then suddenly, the piranaconda came there. But Margaret didn't notice it. Therefore, the piranaconda came so close to her. When she saw the piranaconda, she got so scared, and she tried to hide behind the bamboo trees. But the piranaconda bit off one of her legs. She tried to get away from it, but the piranaconda attacked her once again, and ate her alive. In the next scene, we saw Rose and Jack. Rose told him about the piranaconda. She had done research about this giant snake. Jack asked her, do you still believe in these things? They've been removed from the earth so many years ago. But Rose told him that someone had seen this giant piranaconda in the nearby forest. But Jack didn't take it seriously. In the next scene, we saw a girl going towards the lake to take a bath. But suddenly, the piranaconda attacked her and ate her alive. In the next scene, we saw the professor, and he went to an old factory. But suddenly, a girl named Talia went there and kidnapped the professor. She was Pike's girlfriend, and Pike was a gangster. After that, the professor told them that it's not safe for them to stay here in this forest. But they didn't listen to him, and instead, they made fun of him. The professor told them that I can give you all the money you want, but we must leave this place. But they didn't listen to him and locked him inside the factory. After that, Talia checked the bag of the professor and found that egg. In the next scene, we saw a doctor. She was with two of her colleagues named Vicky and Leilani. They came to this forest to find a flower that could immediately heal any kind of sickness. Suddenly, they found that flower, but then they heard that Leilani was screaming. They got so scared and tried to run away from there with the flower. But before that, the piranaconda surrounded them and then killed them. In the next scene, we saw that the shoot of the movie was going on, and the side actress, Rachel, was not performing well. So, director Milo told her to read the script once again. Rachel went near the lake while reading the script, and then she noticed the piranaconda. She got scared and tried to run away. The piranaconda also went after her, but before it could attack her, another piranaconda came there. And we realized that there were two piranacondas in this forest. Both of them attacked Rachel together. Therefore, her body got cut into little pieces. In the next scene, we saw that Jack went to Gunner. He was the manager of all the explosive scenes in this movie. He showed him an explosive that can explode if you just throw it on the ground. Meanwhile, director Milo told everyone that the investors had refused to invest in this movie, and that's why he's quitting the shoot. And all of them became sad after hearing this. While they were going back, they had to stop in the middle of the road, since there was a broken car on the road, and some people were trying to fix it. And we saw that they were Pike's men, and they've come here to kidnap them. They got so scared. Meanwhile, Arturo shot the director in his leg, so that the others will get scared and listen to them. But suddenly, Gunner and Jack exploded those explosives and ran away from there. Some of Pike's men went after them. The others took their phones away from them and told them to go with them. Jack and Gunner decided to split while running through the forest. Gunner hid in a place and attacked the man who was behind him, and Jack jumped into a lake while running but the man who was after him kept firing at him in the water. Meanwhile, the piranaconda came there and killed him. And this time, Jack was safe from that man, but he didn't notice the piranaconda. But deep down, he had a feeling that there was a giant creature, and he ran away from the lake. 
Meanwhile, a man of Pike came to Arturo with a video camera, and it was the video camera of the professor's colleague, and she was eaten by the Piranaconda. When Arturo checked the footage in that camera, he saw the Piranaconda. He got so scared after seeing this, since the professor had already warned them about this. In the next scene, we saw that Arturo went to Pike and tried to convince him to leave this forest, and told him to check the video. After that, we saw a couple on the beach. They were Jamie and Rick. They came to the beach to swim. When Rick went near a tree to pee, a piranaconda attacked him and ate him. Jamie was so worried since Rick was not replying to her, but she thought that Rick was doing a prank with her. In the next scene, we saw that Arturo showed the video to Pike and told him that the professor was right about that creature. After that, they checked the egg that the professor had brought here. Arturo told Pike that we're not fighting with just a giant snake. It's a mixture of a piranha and an anaconda, and it's so dangerous. The name of this creature is Piranaconda. After that, Arturo told Pike to throw away the egg, because that Piranaconda could come here by looking for this egg. But Pike didn't do it, because he thinks he can sell this egg and earn so much money. Then we saw Jack. He came back to their car and tried to start the car, but the car didn't start. Meanwhile, Gunner also came there. Jack told him about this forest and said that we're in great danger, because I've seen a giant creature in this forest. That's why Gunner went back to the shooting spot to bring some explosives. In the next scene, we saw that Arturo made a video with Milo, Rose, and Kimmy. He threatened on this video that if the government doesn't send $3 million into his account, then he will kill all of them one by one. After that, Rose told Arturo that she needed to pee, and Arturo took her to the forest. But Rose tried to seduce him and kissed him. Arturo got distracted, and Rose attacked him and ran away from there. After that, Arturo sent one of his men after her. While running, Rose went to the place where the Piranaconda had laid eggs. She got scared after seeing these eggs, but then that guy came there and tried to kill her. Before he could attack her, the Piranaconda came there and ate him. Meanwhile, Rose ran away from there and came back to the factory since she was so scared after seeing the Piranaconda. Jack and Gunner also found that factory and decided to go there because deep down they had a feeling that the gangsters might have kept the others in that factory. When Jack looked through the binoculars, he saw Rose, and then they went there to attack the gangsters. Jack started to kill the men of Pike one by one. Gunner set the explosives all around the factory and set the detonator for two hours. Jack saved them all, but before he could get to the car, Milo decided that he will try to stop Pike's men so that the others can run away from there. Because his leg was injured and therefore he could not run, Jack gave the gun to Milo and tried to get to the car, but then Pike and his men attacked them. He fought them back, but the Piranaconda came there and ate Talia in front of them. Meanwhile, Gunner destroyed the factory with those explosives, but he was shot as well and died. After that, the others tried to save their lives and got in the car. Jack was driving the car so fast, but the Piranaconda was after them. Pike also went after them. Meanwhile, Jack saw that the Piranaconda was standing in front of them on the road. But still, Jack kept driving. Rose and Kimmy got so scared after seeing this. They had no idea about what Jack was up to. Pike tried to attack the car with a rocket launcher, but the rocket launcher hit the Piranaconda, and Jack was able to run away from there. Then another Piranaconda came there and saw that the first Piranaconda was injured by the rocket launcher, and with this chance, it attacked the first Piranaconda. In the next scene, we saw that Jack had to stop since their car was not starting anymore. All of them became so worried about this, because they had no options left. The professor told them about a boat, but he doesn't know where that boat is. That's why they need to walk and look for that boat. In the next scene, we saw Milo and he found Jamie on the beach. Jamie was waiting for her boyfriend, Rick. When Jamie told him about her boyfriend, Milo tried to convince him that a giant snake had eaten him. But she thought that he must be joking and went inside the forest to look for him and she found so many eggs of that Piranaconda. Milo told her that these are the eggs of that Piranaconda. She got angry after seeing these eggs and took a stick in her hand and began to break the eggs. Meanwhile, the Piranaconda came there and attacked Milo and then ate his whole body except for his leg. Jamie got so scared after seeing this and started to scream and the Piranaconda ate half her body. On the other side, we saw that Jack, Rose, Kimmy, and the Professor went to that boat when Jack saw that egg in the professor's bag, he asked him, Earlier you told us the Piranaconda could smell this egg and come after it. Then why are you keeping it to yourself?
Jack realized that he's not going to leave this egg here. That's why he decided to bring back the explosives to defend the Piranaconda. And then Jack, Rose, and Kimmy started walking towards the studio van. When they went there, Pike came there with his men, and Pike shot Jack. He threatened them that if anyone tries to run away from here, he will kill them. He doesn't care about money anymore, because his girlfriend Talia died because of them. Jack tried to convince them that they could kill the Piranaconda, but then the Piranaconda came there and killed all of Pike's men. After that, Kimmy went back to the boat with the explosives. Rose and Jack stayed here. Meanwhile, the Piranaconda killed Pike as well, and it also killed Kimmy. Rose became so upset after seeing this, but Jack told her that they can kill it. And then he told Rose to go back to the boat. On the other side, the professor was about to run away with the boat, but Rose came there and stopped him. But the professor told her that Jack will die for sure, and that's why we must leave. And then they went forward without taking Jack with them. Here, Jack went back to that van and found the explosives. He took the bike of Pike and went towards the forest. The Piranaconda was after the professor since he had an egg in his bag. That's why Rose told him to throw away that egg, but he told her that this egg is so expensive. We can change history with this egg. And then he took away the egg from Rose, but Rose turned the boat so fast that the egg fell in the water. The professor got so mad about it and turned the boat once again to get the egg back. When he tried to get the egg from the water, Rose pushed him into the water and Rose ran away from there with the egg. The Piranaconda came there and ate the professor. Rose went to Jack with the egg, and they went to the lake to destroy that egg. They put an explosive in the egg and threw it towards that Piranaconda. The Piranaconda ate that egg, and Rose and Jack jumped into the lake. Since it ate it, the explosive exploded inside its belly, and it died. Jack and Rose were so happy about it, and then they started to kiss each other. In the last scene of the movie, we saw that the Piranaconda was still alive. To watch more explanations of these kinds of movies, click on the videos on your screen. And don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video in the comments down below. And at last, I will say, stay safe, stay well, thanks.